All right, next let's uh, try to create a kind of well, what you can say a, a bill of quantity by using AutoCAD. Okay, uh, for this what we need is I like to just convert the object right into a block. This one can be maybe build um, big point right there, and I like to open this in block editor. The first thing I like to carry is an attribute. Okay, this one named as uh, you can say this one would be the ID, and kind of a text height. This one can be uh, yeah, that's it. You can uh, position it right here. Then one more attribute I can be named as maybe this won't be the real cost. If you don't want to display the cost with ID, you can turn it right invisible. But here I'm not turning it down. Let everyone see the cost. Afterwards, I can just finish the block editor and close it. Okay, see the changes. Okay, we're gonna delete it. I'll be inserting the block. Yeah, this one will be a door, and this one costs maybe thousand. Okay. And maybe uh, five copies, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, and five thousand. So all this total door costs five thousand. And one more time, this one can be Dura. It's a cartoon character. This one can cost five hundred. Is it okay? And this one makes a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Okay. 5,000 and 3,000 total. I like to see 8,000 rupees right there. Okay, for that, first thing I like to save the drawing anywhere. Okay, then let's get into data extraction. In here, the first thing is I like to yeah create a new data extraction. Then you can uh, use the next option, and I don't want to display all the objects right in here. I just wanted to see the blocks with attributes only so there is only one block with attribute far enough i don't want to display anything so i'll be unchecking all except attribute so this attribute carry cost and id they'll be next and i'll be moving this count right at the last id will be right at the front and i don't want to display the bells for that, I like to uncheck the name column options here. So the ID and cost will be right there. So what I can do here is just simply right click. Uh, before that, I don't want to combine the ID code or you know, that's up to you. I'll be right clicking and I'll be inserting a formula column. Or if you want to see the total, you can have an option for that. So mm, it won't be the Okay, first anyways, let's uh, add it up. So, um, for adding it up, we don't want to have anything else like that. Okay, next I'd like to have a formula column by uh, setting up the total cost, total cost of you know are having five doors or there so i can drag the count multiply with cost you can just make use of drag and drop validate it and it's okay so we are having five thousand and you're having you know six fives are three thousand here okay a lot of points are there so I can edit the column. You can uh, just get into the column data format and the precisions shall be maybe uh, right now I don't need any precision so I'm just gonna ignore it. And also I like to see the total so right clicking and I can get into the insert total footers of some okay. So you know 5,000 plus 8,000, you got it, okay? Exporting the table right into the mall space, and you know, this one is the 
um, title schedule. Okay, in waste. And okay, I'll be placing this schedule right here. And this size is a. Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, what I can do here is I can, um, if any updates has been made, I can just right click in here and I like to update the table data link. You can see that 8000 had become 16000, or if there are more numbers, copy, copy, copy. So so a lot of things are there so you know update table detailing so that comes to be 64,000 all right so that will be the simple thing on how to calculate the cost of any asset